Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Python tutorial video with Pygame from Syntex for Bucky and the New Boston. What we're going to be talking about here is we're going to work on changing our perspective. So, um, currently our square function is actually a cube. So, what I'd like to go ahead and have us do is, let's see if we can get away with this. So, just highlight that bit, copy, control H, paste, and replace with a uh, cube, because now it's a cube. So, replace all. And let's go ahead and save and run that and make sure everything uh, is working. Okay, it is. Okay, so now we can move the cube left and right, but then we also want to be able to add up and down. So we're going to go ahead and change that as well. So depth we've already seen is a pain in the tuchus. And now we're going to show why perspective is also a pain in the butt, like moving left to right or up and down. So, um, so the first thing we want to go ahead and do is, is we're... we're pretty much done with the z-axis. We're not really gonna mess with that anymore. Uh, so now a key up and key down uh, is now gonna correspond to a y move, so y up and down. So now we're gonna say y move equals negative uh, five when we go up, because negatives are go up for y. And then y move equals five if the key is down. So we're gonna move pixels. Then we're going to come up here and where we have Z move and Z location. Now let's just go ahead and add a default Y move to zero. And then uh, this was key ups, remember? And now we're going to go ahead and have uh, the key up and down give us a Y move equals zero. Current move um, should not equal zero anymore at that point. Uh, so now our cube should hopefully move left, right, up, down. I I'm, I'm probably forgot something, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, we need to uh, try to think here. Current, that's probably the current zoom. Let's see, let's see the location. Let's just go ahead and make that. Uh, trying to think. Let's make it uh, 50 for now. That'll zoom it out hopefully a little bit. Yeah. So now we got this cube, and we can move it around. We're still not getting it to move up and down. Um, hold on. Probably because we just haven't defined a Y location, right? So uh, to get the Y location to work, also current size, uh, we'll just make this size. And then where we have location 0 plus equals current move, just copy and paste that. And then location 1 plus equals Y move. Save and run that one more time. Up, down, left, right. Beautiful. Uh, let's make this cube slightly smaller, however. <laughs> that's pretty big. Let's make it 100. Let's see how that works out for us. Okay, that's a little better. Um, so now we're going to move the cube up, down, left, right. Now what we want to do, and even diagonal. Whoa. <laughs> uh, anyway, now what we want to do is work on uh, changing our perspective. So, for example, uh, let's go up to the cube now. And to give our, um, and really, like, to give us a perspective, the front node, for example, um, the front, this front square, right, this front face of this, of this cube, as we were to change perspective, like moving it left or right, it might move slightly, and certainly it might, uh, shade differently, but for the most part, that stays the same. It's actually it's the thing that is further away from it that we would notice the most significant change. So that's what we want to actually modify here. And how might we modify that? Well, this is where we're making all of that code, right? So to we've got the original offset. This is like the ideal scenario. Well, sort of ideal, not really. Um, but that's if that's if the cube was you know all over to the left and now let's just say the we want to specify where where's the middle of x so x mid equals um the int of display width divided by two so whatever that is um is the middle and then we're going to say the x offset then equals the int value of the starting point the zeroth element, right, so the x of starting point, minus the x mid. So basically the x offset is the distance from the middle. So now 
Uh, we would want to change all offsets for the X. So these are all X offset. Well, this is all F X offsets. So now change that to X offset, X offset, X offset. Okay. And now let's go ahead and save and run that. Okay. And now you see as we move our cube, it actually gives the appearance that holy cannoli, we actually have like some more like sort of perspective. But of course, it goes wacky when you do this. <laughs> now we're a little far. Okay, that's a little much. Uh, so then, you know, you could you could have some code that specifies you know what the max offset could possibly be. Um, but you'll see, uh, at least with Pygame, as you hold the key, it's just going to keep applying uh, this function. So in theory, you could come in here and you could say, uh, you know, you've defined this x offset, and then we could say like, uh, let's go ahead and print x offset it's gonna be really fast but uh, so then here the x offset is 190 when really probably the max we'd ever even want is maybe a hundred so we could do something like this um, x offset and then we would just say uh, if x offset greater than 100 x offset equals 100 or actually, wasn't that, a, I think that was less than negative 100. The x offset was in the negatives. Right. So then you can do this. <laughs> I think it gets really pissed. Oh, you know what we did? I know what we did. I don't think we made that other number a negative. Right. Okay. Let's try that one more time. All uh, right. So we do this. Awesome. Blossom. And then it, it like maxes out, you know, so you can do something like that. Um, but then here, let's do this, hold it, and then we'll come back, and then it moves over again. And then so we could do the other side as well. So we could say um, L if x offset greater than 100, x off offset equals 100. And then now we're really cooking, and we have what appears to be, you know, a decent-ish um, representation. Now again, like I was saying before though, um, this, uh, and actually, let's see, I'm trying to decide if that's actually what I, right, so as we move, um, see my eyes are playing tricks on me at the moment. Uh, so it just, it, I guess it really depends on where, um, where this is, but in theory, you would want the back of of the cube to be going backwards. So, for example, like let's try to do negative one times the int. Let's see if that'll work. Okay. So then we flip over here. Ish. <laughs> That's pretty messy as well. So you'd want you wouldn't want it to like freeze frame like that necessarily as you pivot it around, but. Um, if that was the true middle, that's probably more likely what it would look like uh, as you went around. But anyway, uh, we'll we'll let that uh, filter in your mind for a little bit. And now the other thing that we want to do, I shouldn't have closed out of that, is you know you've got so we've got this kind of idea where we've got you know this this changing perspective. But then what about up and down? Well, up and down has to change too. Like here, you should be able to view the top of the cube, and then here you should be viewing really the bottom of the cube, right? Because you're underneath the cube. So uh, those are the things that we need to work on next. So in the next video, that's what we're going to be doing. We'll be working on the y-axis perspective. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.